Hi guys, so here is a short video showing how this device works. So first of all, this over here, this is a power button. And right below that we have an LED indicator which shows the power and charging status. Towards the bottom we have the charging port and towards the top we have the OLED display and three touch buttons. So M stands for mode, 0 for 0 and U for unit. Off to the left we have the encoder wheel which is used for curved line distance measurement. And over to the front, we have the shark wire sensor for measuring linear distances. So now this device is already in uh, level mode. So uh, in case we, uh, the value of X and Y comes close to zero, it means the surface is almost level. And the buzzer sounds an alarm letting us know that the surface is level. So we are going to test it on our tabletop. So as you can see, the values are close to zero and the buzzer sounds an alarm letting us know that the tabletop is level. Now in order to move to the next mode, we hit the mode button. So that's distance. So in this mode, the IR sensor is used to measure distance. So now the values in millimeters, in case we want a different unit, we hit the unit button. So now it's in centimeters. And it will even show measurement in inches. We are going back to centimeters. So this device can measure distances between 3 to 25 centimeters and in case the object being measured goes out of that range it gives us the off range message. So the next mode is a roller mode. This mode uses the encoder over here to give us the distance or length of a curved line or curved surface. So as you can see when I turn the encoder wheel on the left, the value on the display changes. So in this mode like all the units are displayed all together at a time. So in order to make these values zero and start measuring again, we hit the zero button. So now it's zero again. So now we are going to measure the width of this book. So just place the device on one end and just roll it towards the other. As you can see the book is almost 22 centimeters wide and in order to measure again we just hit the zero button and we can start over again. So the next mode is the angle mode. So for angle mode imagine we have to measure an angle from this line, this particular line over here. So we set it to that line. So now the value is almost one. So make it zero by hitting the zero button. Now it's all now it's zero. And then we tilt the device to measure the angle. As you can see, when you came back to the line, it's zero again. So these are the different modes of this device. This device also has a magnetic base. As you can see, it has a magnetic base over here. So this prevents the device from slipping off surfaces, like metal surfaces when measurement is going on. That's all guys, thank you for watching.